Hi, and welcome to this part two video of a crypto wall analysis by VMRay. In part one, we showed an overview of the analysis of a crypto wall 2.0 ransomware variant. In this video, we drill down into more detail to learn the inner workings of the malware. In particular, we'll take a closer look at the log files, hex dump, and network traffic capture provided by VMRay. We start with taking a closer look at the abstraction layers and file formats. Let's take a look first at the function log file. The function log file is a lowest level representation containing all the API and system service calls. It also contains additional metadata. For example, when one process injects code into another, or when the master boot record, or MBR, is modified, and more. It contains not just security relevant API calls, but also every single function call. For example, we can see here all these API calls that are related to string operations and comparisons. From the function log file, VMRay generates a generic XML log file. Within this file, you have a normalized and standardized representation of all the function calls and API calls. So no matter what API call was used to create a new file or process, you will always find the same XML element in the same format. This makes it easy to write simple rules that can be applied. On top of the generic log file, VMRay creates a results XML file. This is a condensed representation of all the indicators of compromise or IOCs, such as IP addresses and registry keys. The file is machine passable, so it can be used to feed IOCs into your firewall or other rules-based protection systems. We also provide PCAP files with all the network traffic captured during analysis, as well as an archive file. Clicking on each respective button in the analysis information section of the report downloads these files. All the data shown earlier, all the drop files, process dumps, and log files are stored here in the archive. The reports make it easy to navigate between the different abstraction layers of the data. For example, in the behavior section, if we click on this file that was created, then click on the function log button, we get a pop-up showing the particular API call that was used to create the file. This gives a better understanding of what happened just prior and just after that particular file creation. Another feature is the option of jumping into a hex dump by hitting the data button on the right. In this example, we can see here that when we look at the hex dump, that a Windows executable was created on disk. To summarize, VMRay monitored and captured all the changes on the system caused by the malware. For an investigator, the report provides all the information needed with just a few clicks of the mouse to determine exactly how the malware functions and what changes it made to the system. Thank you for watching, and please visit our website for more information.